How we grow salad mix microgreens using our 7x14 tray kit. We start by setting aside everything except for the white base tray. Then we add three cups of water to the reservoir tray before placing the mesh tray back on top. Now we can place a single sheet of the silicone medium onto the mesh tray. Prior to seeding, we like to give the medium a light mist to help the seeds stick. For this 7 by 14 size tray, we'll be using 16 to 20 grams of salad mix microgreen seeds. Spread the seeds evenly across the medium. Then mist the seeds with water or a prophylactic spray. It's important to give them a good watering with this medium type. Now we place the inverted dome on top of the seeds to trap in humidity. And place the tray onto a dark shelf to germinate. By day two, some of the seeds are cracking open. At this point, we're checking them one to two times per day and misting only if the seeds look dry. On day four, most everything had germinated and our roots had gotten longer. Time for a fresh four cups. Now we're gonna take the lid that was sitting like this and I'm gonna flip it into a humidity dome. We're gonna be moving our salad mix down one shelf and put them into light for the first time. I'm also gonna be removing this humidity dome. I removed the water from the bottom reservoir and we're gonna refill it up with a fresh four cups of ocean solution water. Now that these have been introduced to light and given nutrients, their leaves should start opening up a lot more. Day seven salad mix. Today is day eight of our salad mix and I'm gonna be adding in some more water to the bottom reservoir. So far this tray is looking a little funky and that's because it's a pre-made mix. Sometimes when you buy these pre-made salad mixes, they don't really think about how the seeds are gonna look when they start to germinate together. Um, but that's not really the point. The point is you're getting a lot of nutrients from the same tray. Today is day nine for our salad mix and it is harvest day. The reason being is because the radish are starting to get way too tall and they're beginning to get their true leaf. So first let's go over the tools we need. Personally, I like to use a knife when I harvest my microgreens, like this one here that we sell on our website. I also prefer to use a scale as well. Okay, and there's our first little harvest. So something I gotta say about this mix is I'm a little on the fence about it. The reason being is there's some varieties in here that get super, super tall really fast. And then there's other varieties that tend to stay very short compared to the rest. So it does make it more of a awkward tray. Not only that, it also makes it a little bit more awkward for me to harvest. However, even though there's some awkward things about this grow, this is still gonna be a beautiful mix of microgreens that I'm sure is gonna be super tasty mixed in with dinner. From this single tray, I got 98.2 grams of harvest weight. Now it's time to clean up. To clean my medium for reuse, first I'm going to take the water and dump it out.
Now I'm going to use the scraper cleaning tool that comes with this tray kit. And we are going to scrape the microgreens off of here. Now this can be pulled out, washed off, and sanitized for reuse. As for all these leftovers, I'm going to compost mine, but some people give them to chickens. In this section, we'll share a process for cleaning the tray in medium at home. First, I'm removing any stuck debris. And now that all the debris is removed from this, I can put a little bit of soap on it. For that, I like to use a food safe soap. And now we're gonna lather it up really good. Now rinse with hot water. The next thing you can do is you can do a sanitizing of this. I like to just use really, really hot water and let it soak in there for a while. And you may notice too, with some seed varieties, it can stain. Uh, I believe it was the alfalfa that stained this. To help remove that, you can do a baking soda soak. <laughs> 